and welcome back to the Super Rookie channel. Today we are unboxing things again. So what we've got today is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things to open up. Honestly, I'm probably gonna attach a couple more videos at the end of this one because I feel like this won't be enough for a normal haul, but yeah, I do have a couple really fun things to open up. I'm pretty excited. I haven't opened just like regular non-group order merch for a while. And some of the things in here are pretty fun. If you've been enjoying my content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm super grateful when people do. Um, I also have a vlogging channel and I'm streaming on Twitch several times a week. My links are in the description. But anyway, we have more important matters to attend to, which are opening goods. So let's get started. As per usual, we are starting with the smaller mail and this one is coming from Portugal. Okay, so this first one was a trade. Honestly, I feel like we traded so long ago that I seriously do not remember <laughs> what I traded, um, like what I sent this person or even sending them anything. I'll be real, <laughs> I have no memory whatsoever, but I got um, Silky's Red Summer card here. It is very cute. Yeah, I feel like, oh my God, I feel like I sent this like, I feel like I was supposed to get this a million years ago. Yeah, honestly, I almost feel like this has been like months, months and months since I asked to trade for this, if I remember correctly, but I don't know if y'all noticed, but um, I do have a confession to make, uh, uh, and I'm kind of embarrassed by it, I'll be real. So, so you know how you girl used to be an OT5 collector for Red Velvet, and then I got really spooked at the fact that I had a lot of credit card debt and student loans and so I sold all my non-joy cards, well most of them, and was like, no, I'm not doing this anymore, I'm gonna be better with my money, but like, I mean it's been months and my credit cards are, gu are, are Gucci now, um, and here I am, uh, crawl crawling back my old habits oh I just god y'all I hate flipping through my binder now I hate that there's no like OT5 RB it feels so incorrect it feels so wrong so I just accepted that I'm a rebel of trash I guess and I am gonna try to get all the cards again after being like I think like three cards away from completing my collection but you know what it's part of the fun, it'll be okay, you know. <laughs> anyway, thank you for trading, and let's check out the next um, letter. <laughs> oh my god, do not mind me reusing the post-its I used to count um, the group order numbers, <laughs> because the earth is dying and we gotta recycle, so. This letter is coming from Britain, so. I should not be waving the sisters around like that, but yeah, let's see what's in here. Nice, okay, so um, I did trade this safe card, I believe for one of the, ooh, extra Lua ones I had. Oh my God, what is in here? Oh no. Oh, this is dirty. <laughs> Oh my god, it felt like it had like a grease stain on it, but I guess, I guess it's chill or maybe it was just like humidity or something, but yeah, <laughs> sorry, that was random. I just like saw this pool, like shiny pool on the photo card and I was like, huh, okay, but it seems to be okay. Thank god, I was like, no, not another damaged good, but it still has... All right, well, I'm gonna do a better job of wiping that away later on, but <laughs> what we got is one of Say's Polaroids for the Lucky Era. I was missing this one, and this person wanted one of the cards I had, so we traded, which is always a good feeling. I love finding successful trades, and just like knowing that instead of having to buy a card, I just traded for it. The next package is coming from Romania. We've got a lot of 
um, barter away sales today actually I feel I feel like I, I don't have anything from the USA if I'm no actually that's a lie I think I have only one USA item here today oh oh my god this is so cute okay I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all I'm gonna read that well in a second but okay <laughs> so I don't wanna like <laughs> I don't wanna like okay so this this might be controversial and it might anger some people and I am sorry if you do, but this is my personal collection and I'm not saying go out and do this either. But yeah, basically I realized at some point that I had to like limit parts of my collection, especially with like groups that are in red velvet, like trying not to like go too hard spending, you know, over a certain amount of money on cards and such. So for Go On, I was like, you know what? I'm never gonna buy these cards. I really am not. Like I had one broadcast card of hers and I was like, I actually sold it. I was trying to be like, Maria, you can't commit to buying like Go On's like broadcast cards. Those tend to go for so expensive. Like you shouldn't have this weight on yourself. I, I'm honestly always struggling with like how invested I wanna be in my collecting because I do invest a lot. Um, which is good and bad, right? But like also my wallet ends up hurting. So I very often have to like try to scale back. For example, earlier talking about how I decided to cut part of my RV collection at some point. And the thing is, I am a completionist. I hate the feeling of not having a complete collection. It's not the best feeling and honestly, it's not the way to live. Like it shouldn't be what collecting is all about in the end. But with especially Go On, I was trying to really be like, you shouldn't um, just spend all your money on stuff and like maybe there's some cards that you don't need to have and in the end like I don't know photo cards are just printed pieces of paper right like they probably cost like five cents to manufacture so why am I here like trying to hunt down certain like extremely overpriced and like expensive cards when I don't want to go that hard in a specific collection right so some of y'all may hate me for this you're welcome I, like I swear like it's okay I get it but I basically got um, some um, broadcast card replicas <laughs> for Go On. Um, they're definitely not the real deal and I really appreciate when people who make these put a different back or something to make people know that these are replicas and never sell them for like not their cheap, you know what I mean? But so basically I just got a little bundle of replicas of her broadcast cards. I thought it would be me make me happy, honestly. Like I'm, I'm just gonna like, Put them in my binder. I'll always be clear about the fact that they're replicas. I would never try to sell a replica as a real thing. I don't know if this is like too intense of a rent. I don't know if I'm even gonna let this in the video because I don't really want people coming at me for this. But um, yeah, I I don't know. This took a lot longer than I wanted to. But this is a set of the so what broadcast cards too. I didn't necessarily want the whole set. I just wanted to go on, but they were cheap. I wasn't worried about it, but the backs are cute. The re Honestly, the broadcast cards I wanted the most and I've been wanting for forever were these two. The, her high high cards are so cute. Like the bunny hat and her little smile here, precious. But um, I've never seen them sold at a mother price and I don't think the prices are ever gonna go down for those. So anyway, the person sent a little sweet message. It says, I don't, hello, I don't usually write these notes because I need to speak through replica orders, but I wanted to let you know that I really enjoy your videos and I watch them literally religiously. No, for real, every time you upload, I'm there and I, and I am watching a little eye and I, you know, whatever. <laughs> but alas, hope the replicas get to you safely and I really do hope you like them and thank you for joining. Thank you so much, Chris. This is a really sweet message. Thank you <laughs> for taking the time to write a little handwritten message. This is really nice. And thank you for watching my channel. I am always very grateful to people who do. Next up is this envelope from Singapore. Oh my god, okay. So what we have is basically a pin. I had told myself I would get it when the in stocks arrived at the shop, so whatever wasn't pre-ordered. And then I forgot and then it sold out. <laughs> but I did see this person selling it for a really good price and I was like, you know what? You should go and get it. It is by Tatalki Pins. In fact, they are the person that made my profile picture for this channel on Instagram. Yeah, I basically commissioned them to make that little drawing of me, but it is this really cute pin of Joy in Peekaboo with the iconic 
and amazing rainbow dress that stole all of our hearts. I love that they actually put glitter on it and the candles when she's on the table and such, but yeah, I think it's a really cute pin. I actually thought it was gonna be a lot bigger, so usually I like pins to be bigger, but as of late, I've been really grateful for smaller pins that fit better on the pin board, so yeah, it is a very cute one. Thank you so much for making such a cool pin. And the person from Singapore sent a few cute freebies. I'm almost sure this is a freaking Solgi tattoo. Like, how cool is that? Like, a Solgi temporary tattoo. And then, oh, just like a LaRouche fortune card. That's nice, thank you. Oh, and cute, lots of cute freebies of the girls. Oh, these are really cute, I mean, nice, nice, nice. Oh, and Vivi. A few VVs from, oh, a bunch of VVs from her music video. This is awesome. I'm gonna keep one or two and I'll actually have some Luna VVs to give out then. Thank you. Okay, so this next letter I technically already opened. Like, I'm sorry. Honestly, I wasn't gonna, originally I wasn't gonna open it on video and I was just gonna like enjoy it. <laughs> really late at night and put the, the calls on but then I was like Maria you're drunk you probably shouldn't put the calls on <laughs> right now so your girl made the right choice <laughs> and backed off because I honestly remembered Randy's tragic life trying to put the calls on and I was like you probably need to be very sober for this anyway drink in moderation side note but <laughs> Basically, there's this really sweet person called Charlie. Um, they've sent me stuff before and I've opened it on the channel, but yeah, they are an amazing WikiMiki fan and they run this little shop called Berry Bun Shop where they do decals. I think currently they're taking a break from the decals, but um, they did tell me they would make me some because we've been talking about it for a long time. They were super kind and welcoming me to placing an order. They also hosted a group order to get into like WikiMiki fan video calls. They had made little WikiMiki freebies to give out to the people who joined their group order. So I was like, hey, if you have extras, I'd be down to like get some. So I did purchase a little bundle of them, but first it came with this really cute group picture of Lucky Mickey. They look really cute in this photo. Super, super cute. And then, oh yeah, it's two of those. And then one really cool pick of Yujang. I know they're a Yujang fan, so it makes a lot of sense. She's so cute. She has so much energy <laughs> and then this is like the little set of freebies from that group order first are two oh my god nice two wiki mickey like school logo decals basically very cool um these things over here i don't know what they say i'm sorry i generally know nothing of how to read Hangul, but like I kind of want to learn. I've heard it's not too difficult as a writing system, so I might try my hand at learning a little bit of it. But yeah, we got these, and then this really cute um, transparent. Oh, how do I do this? Here, this really cute transparent Wiki Mickey card from Dazzle Dazzle, which I love. And I also, of course, got the big binder to calls from them, which is great because I really wanted to put them on my binders before I filmed my binder tour. So let me show y'all. Oh, this is so cute. So basically all of their decals, you can customize them with like the font and a type of holographic um, vinyl, vinyl? Paper? Sticker? <laughs> that you want. And all of them come with little cute decal um, accessory stickers, so that is precious to me. I hope I said all of that right and it made sense, but basically we, I got these two big ones for um, my two main red velvet binders so that they could be at the front of the binder. Then I got these two longer ones. Oh, they're so cute! For the, the sides of my Pentone binders for red velvet. And then I realized I should probably split my Luna and WikiMiki collection into their own binders. So this one is going to be for my WikiMiki one. And then this one is going to be for my Luna one. Which I think is going to look really good once I put them all together. And I believe that then, yeah, these ones came with a lot of cute decals. So I got those for Red Velvet and then these ones over here. And this really cute one that they sent. I think they sent this as a freebie, honestly. Charlie, that is so sweet. Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm pretty excited because you can like use these stickers to decorate around like the area of the main decal so I'm gonna have my fun later in the afternoon putting these out there and getting them to look really cute so so we are continuing the Wookie Mickey theme for now this is an album I got in a group order so that I could get the Make Star cards for Wookie Mickey and I went through this person on Instagram who is an amazing say collector. Okay, so what this is is Wookie Mickey's, I'm guessing, is this is Hyde, right? This is the Hyde album or seek? I think it's Hyde actually, it's in bold letters. <laughs> but um, yeah, I joined um, Denver's group order so that I could try to get the mixer cards, which is so dumb because then, like I forgot they were getting a ton of albums, which means they were gonna get a ton of photo cards because they were trying to get into the fan video call too. And then I went ahead and bought them on Mercari Japan too, thinking I wasn't gonna get them. But then I realized I was almost assured getting them, so I guess I'm gonna have doubles of these, which is so dumb. But we'll deal with that when the time comes. I think that they pulled a Yujung card for me. So this is an album card I will have to trade for either of Sei's or Lua's that I'm missing. These are the mixer cards for Lua and Sei. I'll be honest y'all, this is not my favorite Wiki Meki era in terms of styling. These cards don't get me as excited as like all of their other really cute cards for like Lock and Lull or Dazzle Dazzle, but I still think that the girls looked really pretty in them and I'm just like not a fan of like neutral tones if that isn't more than evident <laughs> already. <laughs> I really like colorful themes, but it's okay. I understand that sometimes. Sometimes you have the neutral tone come back and I accept it too, because it's also about the girls. And they look really cute in this. Still think that this was absolutely Lua's era. No doubt in my mind about that. For this clip, before we switch on to the next day, I have this little box coming from Malaysia. Ah, oh, sweet! I seriously, seriously hope this is well enough packaged and there is no damage here. <laughs> because if it happens again, you're gonna see, you're gonna see I'm gonna be angry this time. <laughs> yes, oh my god, is it? <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Oh, is this an Orbit <laughs> package? I'm guessing they got a Luna order and recycled. Oh my god, yes! They look like they're in absolutely perfect condition! We win today! <laughs> I don't remember if y'all freaking remember um like i think it was like hall 23 i may be wrong it might be somewhere around there but <laughs> i basically got um i had gotten like say's make star card and photo card and that postcard arrived so freaking damaged like it was one of the worst condition packages i had ever gotten but it seems like they are in just immaculate so today i count my blessings and they are eight because it's eight members here. Oh my god, that was so corny. Anyway, <laughs> so these are the postcards for Wiki Mickey's like Make Star project. So we've got Doyeon, of course, Yu Jung, so cute, Ellie, Suyun. Oh, this is such a somber photo. Cute, Irina. Lua! Cutie. Say, actually in good condition. And Lucy. And then these are the photo cards. This one is Doyon's. Yuna. Oh, I guess I should show the back too. The backs are cute. They're like different colors. Doyon. Lina's. Hi. 
Ellie. Suyun. This is such a cute card. Yujung. Which I guess I now have a double for. Oh. Then Lucy. And Lua! Which I guess I also have a double for now too. Now I've got all of them, which is gonna be nice. I'm gonna put them all in a little like page of their own, which is nice. I rarely ever have like OTA Wiki Mickey sets, but this one I feel like makes sense. But yeah, this is basically what I got today. We will move on to the next clip of goodies to open. Hi y'all. Okay, okay, so this should be the next clip. Yeah, it's actually been a while since I've opened goodies because I had like all the group orders and then I got sick and stuff. So yeah, we have this box and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things to open. So I know as a fact there are a lot of pins in there and I am super excited. So this first letter is coming from Canada. And they sent a little note. It says, Dear Maria, thank you so much for purchasing from me. I hope Lua arrived safe and sound. Please let me know when and if she does. Also, sorry this isn't the prettiest packaging. That is totally okay. Don't worry about packaging. Your note was cute too. So the card I got is this Lua card right here. Um, it is from the Lucky Era and it is such a cute card. I honestly think she looks super cute in it. I love her hair dye and makeup. I love the plaid. It's just a very cool card overall. Thank you so much for selling it to me. I'm slowly, slowly catching up to my Lua collection and it is honestly really exciting. Next up is this envelope from New York. Oh, I love it when people do the pulley system, when they make a little pulley for you to take out the card with. This has been overall some really nice packaging. So what I got from this person was this unit um, Luna card that I was missing. Since I do collect the group cards for Go On, I'll be real, I kind of stalled getting this card because I don't care that much for group cards, especially when it's 12 members <laughs> crammed into a card, but I'm so happy. I think I... I think I should have all of Gowan's album cards on the way now. Like the last three I was missing, this one got here and the other two are on the way. So that's a really good feeling. Um, and they wrote a little message that said, thank you for buying from me. I hope this arrives quickly and safely. So for this one, this letter is coming from the UK. God, I was getting this. Oh my God. The person did not use top. Oh my God. That is not okay though. They kind of like put Diablo. Okay, this is like not such good packaging, honestly. They put tape right on the outside of the sleeve and some parts popped out and like had the tape on them. Thank God nothing has broken so far. <laughs> So, as some of y'all know, I've been collecting um, Animal Crossing GameCube cards from the e-reader 2002 era and so this person had a lot of the ones I was missing and I bought them. <laughs> wow, I'm so glad nothing got damaged because that was a close one, but I have this like KK music song card and Sahara, red. I think she was called Kitty or Pearl, one of the either, either of the two. This other cat, the squirrel. Oh, this mm, questionable chicken, uh, very questionable. Um, this dude, this weird old goat, the robot chicken dude. K 
kangaroo and yeah that's it I basically there were some very random cards I was missing but I thought I might as well grab them since they were being sold and the person offered a discount okay this next one I'm almost sure it's also not a k-pop trade sorry for the like random not k-pop stuff in here but you know I have other interests in life. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. So basically, um, I asked this person who is also into journaling if they wanted to trade um, memo pads because we both had extras of the same brand. So I sent them some and then they sent these ones. How oh, cute. Okay, it says, Lydia, thank you for trading with me. I hope you like the extra MMO I included for you. Oh, that's so sweet. They added extras. That is super cute. Okay, so I got these little sheets here. So yeah, they're mostly from Studio Dalgona, which is so good. I honestly think it's probably my favorite stationery brand right now. I love everything that they make and their designs. There's this one here with a big flower. Oh, they're so cute. And the thing is, their memo pads tend to be really stacked. Like, wait, I'll show y'all. Like, for example, I have this one here that I bought from them that's really cute, but it's like so thick. Like, am I ever gonna finish this memo pad, you know? Um, <laughs> so it's like a good idea to trade some out. We got this really cute rainbow one here. Oh, I really love their designs. It's a Korean brand, so it's a little hard to get. Um, just because you have to pay for more expensive shipping usually. Okay, so this picnic one is so pretty. Ah, the cherries here, cute. Oh, and then let's see the ones they added extra. Okay, I like ice cream, cute. This one is a poo one, cherry on top. Really, really me, I'm a cherry on top. Oh, this one is super cute, wow. Thank you. Huh. Don't come tomorrow. Oh, I love these, thank you so much. This is really great and it'll give me some new stationary paper to work with. So now we get into the pin portion of this video. This one is coming from Talgi, Talgi Pins. Um, I will show you all in a second but I love the cute heart that they drew on it. Oh, they added some little origami stars, which is cute of them. But I think this is the third pin I have from this person, if I am correct. So I think this is this was one of the last ones they had in stock from what I remember, so I'm unsure if they still have them, but their username, oh, <laughs> their username is right here. It is Tatalgi pins. And what I got is this really, really cute silky crying eyes pin. I usually pre-order most red velvet pins, but I don't know why I didn't for this one. But then I saw that in stocks and I was like, oh my god, it's kind of gorgeous. Like, I should get it. So, yeah, it's really cute. It's like, you know, the silky glitter tears moment from um, the finale. And it's really cool, actually. I'm noticing now that the hair on the marble statue has glitter in it too and it's just like a really pretty pin overall I'm not sure what that says in Hangul but I'm gonna imagine it says whatever she says in that moment in the music video but yeah it's a really cute pin I'm really happy I got it actually so that is their name if you wanna go check them out okay next one I actually super excited for. From the moment the artist dropped the design for this pin, I freaked out. I was like, I was like speechless. I thought this is like one of the prettiest pins I've ever seen. And I was just like, oh, I would love for those cicadas not to be ringing right now. I am so sorry, y'all. I can't do much about them. And I would close the window, but I will sweat a lot. And it's too early for me to sweat so <laughs> sorry please bear with me but yeah this pin oh my god I am such a fan of the things this person has been designing um, so I'm pretty really happy to have gotten it I like the moment this went into pre-orders I was like running but so the artist is this person pins by Chloe 
definitely go check out their really great designs, but oh my god, let me show y'all. Ah, it's so pretty. Oh my god, it's even prettier in person, bitch. This is gorgeous. Like, okay. First of all, I loved this image from Psycho. I thought it was one of the most pretty images out there. I love the girls' outfits in this. The design that they made with the roses and the drip is so beautiful. The little details in our, all their clothing. Um, also, the back is literally stained glass. So I don't know if y'all can tell, but if I put it against the sun, you'll basically see what I mean. Like, it's actual glass. Like, what a feat in beauty. I am absolutely in love with this pin. I am so happy I got it real quick. I'm so grateful for the maker for making it because like, oh, she's in love. And like the screen printed like fishnet, like mesh moments, like there's just so much detail here. So beautiful. Like I cannot say enough good words about it. And in person, it's honestly even prettier than I thought it would be. So. Definitely, definitely go check it out. Let's support our girl group pin makers. Thank you so much. And I think, oh yeah, they've, they've sent little um, like photo cards of sorts, like printed photos. Uh, so this one, okay, same moment as before. We're fools for loving each other so much. This photo of the girls. Oh cute, Irene looking really happy. Oh yes, and another group photo, which is lovely. So happy to get this. So excited to put it on my pin board. I am ready. I am 99% sure these are more Psycho Era pins. <laughs> I'm gonna keep getting more and more, I swear. So this pin maker also said more cute little origami stars. I've been actually keeping all of these in a little jar, so. This is nice. For these ones, I actually got a full, full set because they were not a bad price, honestly. And I was like, the design was so pretty. I really wanted this artist to design red velvet pins because I had seen their black pink ones before. Oh, cute. So they sent a really pretty Wendy illustration print. And it says, Maria, thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate it. We hope you love your pins. Please let us know when they arrive. Stay safe and healthy. Emmy and Granny. Cute, they made their own memo pad. That was so cute. Okay, yeah, the brand is called Pink Q. Definitely go check them out because their designs are super pretty and stylish. And so, okay, here are the pins. They're actually smaller than I thought it would be, but I'm kind of happy because I need more space in my pin board. But yay! <laughs> they are uh, like a full set of each girl in Psycho. They're so damn pretty. The girls look so cute. I think especially Yeti, Joy, and Sulky kind of popped off. I think they're super pretty pins. And the girls just look like really stylized and cute in them. I also love little eyes on Joy. I don't know if you can tell too well. But like the bow and the little sparkly anime eyes are so pretty. Yeah, I think these are super lovely pins. Definitely go check them out. My pin board is coming along so well. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to like get an even bigger one at some point soon. So yeah, I'll <laughs> keep y'all tuned. And once I complete it, I'll give y'all a little um, pin tour, pin board tour. So yeah, thank you so much for the pins. And then last but not least, we've got this little box here. It is from Great Music TV. Actually, no, this was from Jace. Jace came back, y'all. Back on eBay again. And this like came out and all of us freaked out and got these cards as quickly as we could. And since y'all know I'm collecting OT, OT5 again, um, I kind of had to do it. <laughs> But not all of these are gonna be mine. Some of them are for other people. And so, oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Whoa, oh, this packaging is wild. Okay, so, what is this? Huh? Did I have a free card? Wait, <laughs> we'll get back to that in a second, but. Let me pop the cards out first. So, ah, super pumped about this. We are starting off with the queen herself, 
Ms. Silky Glitter Tears card. This is actually for my friend Sage because they've been looking for this card for forever. And the moment we saw this, I was so happy for them. I actually already have this card, but I was like, Sage, I, and I, we actually got this on their birthday too. I mean, we were so happy because it was like the last finale card that they needed. So that is awesome. So we got first Silky Glitter Tears. Um, I'm gonna put her here, then Silky, this up close Silky shot. <laughs> this other one, which is really pretty. This one here. The thing is, finale cards are like the freaking prettiest, y'all. These are some of the prettiest, prettiest cards Red Velvet has given us. So we all really kind of wanted them. So now we have Yetis. So cute. You see, all of them are so freaking pretty. No, no bad photo cards in this set, literally. <laughs> so pretty. Then Wendy's, so pretty. This is like the gay photo card and we all stand. So cute. Oh. I'm so happy about this. Oh my God. I love getting to see them all together. So cute. Then we've got Irene's. So pretty. I love, oh, I love, literally, I want to say just like I love Irene's cards, but I'm like genuinely like, I love every single card from this era. How are they so pretty? <laughs> More Irene. I actually already have all of Joyce, so I definitely sold all of those already. Yeah, if y'all, please don't message me asking if you can buy one because I earnestly, like, I already, <laughs> I earnestly already, like, sold most of them, so. Uh, okay, I'm gonna pretend these are neat and organized because I kind of failed from the start. I was trying to segment them by member, but kind of failed, so. Yeah, <laughs> these are all the finale cards. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm really happy. It's so nice to see them all together, honestly. <sighs> They're such gorgeous cards and so hard to find. I don't understand. Even these weren't like as cheap as they should be for album cards. So I don't understand why SM refuses to reprint these albums so far. Hopefully the reprints will come soon and prices will go down, but yeah. And it seems that Jay's is a cutie and they sent me an extra photo card because I guess I bought a whole set. So they sent me this really cute monster card. Like, thank you so much. Actually, yeah, I guess we're all done for this specific moment. So let's roll on to the next clips. Hello, this is Editing Maria. I was actually gonna add more clips to this video, but realized it's kind of really long, so scrap that. Anyway, I hope all of y'all are having a really lovely day. I hope you've been having good weeks and a good start of the semester. Hope online classes aren't too bad. Anyway, I love you all so much and I hope you have a lovely day, an excellent week, and I will see you next time. Ciao!